In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the copy and paste aligned to selected levels function to copy and paste elements in your project vertically at multiple levels all in one go. So in this demo project here, I've got a hotel or an office building. You can see it's a multi-story building. If I switch to a south elevation, you can see I've already defined multiple levels in my building. I've already added windows to the ground floor and now I want to replicate that line of windows on every floor level up the building. I could go into each floor plan and use the window command and manually insert each window, then go on to the next level and do it again and repeat. There is a much, much more efficient way of doing it, which I'm going to show you now. So first of all, let's go back to our level zero floor plan. There are our five windows on the ground floor. What I need to do first is select the windows. Now for this function to work, it's absolutely crucial that you only select model items for copying and pasting vertically. So you can see already I've got the windows and the dimensions selected. If you've tagged your windows, when you do this operation, more often than not, you'll select the window tags because they'll be here on top of the windows. If you do, you won't be able to use this uh, paste align to selected levels function. It only works with model elements. So first of all, I'm going to filter out any annotation items. So with my selection set made there, I use the filter tool, really useful tool in Revit. It shows us what category of items we've got selected. And you can see there, I've got windows, which are the 3D model items. I've got the window tags, which are an annotation category. And I've got the dimensions, which are also annotation. So check none. I'm only interested in the window model category. So, okay that. So now I've just got the windows themselves selected, the 3D objects. I need to come up here to the left hand side of the ribbon menu. And this is the area I'm interested in. I copy those to the clipboard. And now if I look over here to the paste options and I look at the drop down, the second one down is aligned to selected levels click that and I'm now presented with a list of all the levels in my project. Now I've already got the windows on level zero so there's no need to include that. If I hold the shift key down I can select more than one level at a time. So I want my windows on level one, two, three, four, five and six. So highlight all the levels I'm interested in. Just before I complete this operation, I'll just say again, if you hadn't have filtered out the window tags and you'd left those in the selection set, you would have been able to copy that to the clipboard. But when you hit the drop down here, the paste aligned to selected levels would have been greyed out. If you ever see it greyed out, it's because you've probably got annotation or detail items included in your selection. That function only works with model elements. So just go back use the filter, just make sure you've got 3D model elements selected, copy the clipboard again, hit that drop down, align to selected levels should become available and that's when you'll get the select levels panel. So with my levels selected, hit OK, go back to my 3D view and there are all the windows on each of the levels I specified. That tool works with any model elements so for floor plates or internal walls where you've got repetition just set them out on one level copy the clipboard and paste a line to selected levels choose the levels you're interested in and very quickly you can build up uh, repeated elements in your model where they're stacked vertically Many more tutorials and articles on Autodesk Revit architecture can be found at bimscape.com. Once at the home page, just navigate to Articles, Autodesk Revit.